In this video, I'm gonna cover what you need to become a day trader in the UK. Stick around. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining me. All right, so you've seen the adverts, you've seen this, you've seen that, and you go, hmm, actually, I think I'd quite like to try day trading. What do I need to do? This sounds pretty cool. So this is for you, short video for you beginners out there. And by the way, if you like this type of stuff, you, you get into your trading, I have got tons of videos on this channel that will help you through your journey. So make sure you are subscribed. So putting that to one side, let's have a look at what you need. Remember what you don't need a license. You don't need to be certified. You don't need anything like that. In fact, the barrier to entry to become a day trader in the UK is about that. You can open a broke open open. You can open a broker account with very very little. All they do is just check your identity because there's a financial transaction involved in it. That is pretty much it. If you can open an account and you can put in a little bit of money, we'll talk about it in a moment you can become a day trader, which is great news, but not so great because of course, now the failure rate is massive and that failure rate is big for a reason because there is no barrier to entry. Anybody can open an account. And so you have to think, right, what do I need to get started? If I'm serious about this, what do I really need? If I don't need licenses, I don't need certifications, I don't need exams, I don't need this, I don't need that, I don't need the other, what do I really need to give myself the best possible chance of success? The first thing is, is a plan of action. Plan of action, you might be going, what do you mean a plan of action, I don't know what I'm doing. Even as simply as I'm going to risk 500 pounds, 5,000 pounds, 100 pounds, and I'm gonna put that in an account, and when it's gone, it's gone, and I'm gonna plan for that. And I'm gonna maybe risk 100 pounds each month maximum on this, or whatever it is, some broad plan of action in terms of how much money you will risk. Forget about strategy for now, forget about this, forget about the market as you'll trade, just consider the risk, because the biggest problem that people, problem, the biggest, trap if you like is that traders come in they go yeah i've got, I've got 25 grand 50 grand savings i'll just do into a trading account and, you know see if i can make a few grand on that maybe i'll make 10 15 20 double it and before you know it they've halved the account and they're like man i've lost half my savings i didn't know that's a not a good place to be and do not do that back up back up back up back up even if you have access to that sort of money or more our traders have done this with millions and done exactly the same type of thing not good Start small, say, hey, plan of action is I'm gonna stick 500 quid in, 1,000 pounds in, whatever it may be, and I'm gonna kind of make that last for six months and, and kind of learn the business and recognize that this is challenging, this is tricky. I'm competing against some of the best minds in the world. Guys have been trading for decades plus. You know, I gotta kind of know what my journey and recognize this journey. So have some sort of plan of action with, with your risk. Sounds boring, but promise you, I promise you, that will serve you way better than just piling in and going, oh, I'm just gonna have a flutter and a, a play around. Number two, you need some capital just start off with a small amount a very 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 small do not go in with your full savings and go i am going to turn this into a million within three days it will not happen small amount of money start off small start off small and by the way you can open come to in a moment you can open a brokerage account and just trade a demo so you don't need any capital staff where well, you can trade on a demo and then you decide to put a little bit of money and take a little bit of financial risk to get the reward from that but understanding the losses that come with it. So you can't play that game without having to put any money on the line for ages as long as you like. Many of these brokers allow you to trade the demo as long as you like, because they hope that one day you'll open a live account and they make the money from the spread. Every time you trade, they make a little tiny slither. And so they're more than happy to wait and give you the technology and give you the market prices and the charts and all the other stuff that you'd get if you had a real account, a demo account, give you virtual funds for you to play around in. You've got no loss, no risk, whatever. The other thing you must make sure you've got is time. It does take up a lot of time. You might think, oh, it's great, I can just roll up, I can trade this when I want and do that. And you can, you absolutely can. You can log in, sit down in front of your screen and go, I'll trade this and trade that, but that is not gonna work for you. That will not work. The time comes in with thinking about your strategy, planning your trade, reviewing your trade, researching, studying, learning. You have to have some time to allocate to this. And you might be a busy guy already. You might have lots of things going on. You're like, you know what? I don't really have time. And if you haven't, you've got to look yourself in the mirror and go, maybe I don't want to do this. Or if I do this, maybe my expectations have to be measured according to how I'm going to trade in the markets or how I'm going to get involved in the markets. And you know, I stand here going, oh, you've got to seriously and have a plan and everything. And I know and everyone's, now everyone's like that. You might be saying, well, I just want to play around with it and have a flutter. And that's okay. I think that's okay too, as long as you understand 
what your expectations are from it. You stick, a, you know, 500 quid and a thousand pounds in and you lose a bit of money, make a bit of lose a bit of money, make it, and you're enjoying it, then fine. That's something different from maybe a serious trader who's looking to make this into, you know, a career perhaps, or, or generate some significant returns from it. That's different. I understand that everyone's different, but I'm kind of approaching it from a, trying to be a bit objective here and say, I get people have got different uh, desires to get into the market and reasons to get into the market. But if you want to take it seriously and kind of improve and, and maybe make this into something, then absolutely having time is a definite broker. I could say you can um, uh, very, very easily open a demo account. We've got links in the description below if you want to check out our uh, channel sponsor. A PC laptop goes without saying, you can trade on a phone and the apps are pretty good to be fair, but you can't do the research you need. I'm going to add this to, oh, there we go, screens there. I'm going to say it's worth investing in a decent laptop PC and a dual screen setup so that you've got, or at least a wide screen so that you can have multiple windows. So you can have your broker account there, you can have your charting platform there, and maybe you can have other bits and pieces there like a browser. So I don't think you need massive eight, eight, 12 screens. There were times when I had eight screens going, but technology has improved massively now. You can have a wide screen, you can use different uh, kind of tools that allow you to, to tab all the, uh, or uh, sorry, tile all the charts into. You can lay out in one screen very easily. It's just nice having a separate screen. So I would definitely recommend having a separate screen, dedicate your place to trade, dedicate your laptop or PC, two screens, it just makes life easier. Not necessarily maybe one wide screen, I could say fine, but some decent screen real estate. If you're just trying to do it on one thing, it, yeah, it's doable. There's guys out there who have made serious returns just from a laptop and they're very happy with that and they're kind of almost proud of the fact of the simplicity of it and I think that's, that's great. But I think just two screens just helps your productivity a little bit better. And then of course, you need knowledge. Like we don't know what we're doing when we start out, nobody does. And so we go and one thing I would say is, I know you are watching a YouTube video here, is just be careful um, before you dig and go straight into something that sounds good, review everything out there. You know, you've got lots of free resources, YouTube, there's stuff on this channel, there's other great channels out there. There's podcasts, lots of great stuff like that, interviews with traders, um, you know, talking about some of the skills and things uh, uh, that's required. It's not plug, but, Look at all of them out there, and there's some, some cheaper stuff, there's some more expensive stuff, there's education, there's training, there's communities, there's lots. And before you kind of just go, oh, that's great, that looks great, you see an ad, and you kind of dig, dig into it and go down there, just maybe do a bit of a review and say, hey, I like the idea of a trading community, for example. Let me look at all the communities out there and pick the one that suits me and do a Google search and stuff, because not always, this, this is, I'm being very, very broad here, but the one who's shouting the loudest and giving the, getting the attention isn't always the best, right? Um, so that might get your attention, go, oh, I quite like the idea of a community. I quite like the idea of doing a course, but just use it as a seed and then go, okay, oh, let me step back a bit. Let me research all the courses that are available in the, in the areas I want. What do I want from it? What don't I want from it? What's the price point I'm prepared to pay? That type of stuff. Do I even want to pay for something? I'm prepared to sift through all the stuff on YouTube, which is so much good stuff on YouTube. The challenge is, of course, it's not collected very well. And you've got to kind of go through a lot of rubbish to get through to the stuff that you want. Fine. If you're prepared to do that, that's great. If you want to pay premium, that's fine. If you want to go really premium and get kind of one-to-one -one mentorship, fine. The point is, is that you know, once you decided you want that knowledge, step back and then look at all the options, pick that, and then go all in on that rather than flicking around. I think a lot of people do this. They have that course, that course, that membership, that dealer, and it just dilutes and there's too much noise. I think it's a good thing to expand your knowledge and improve, but go all in on one. Go, yeah, I like that course. I'm gonna just kind of read, I'm gonna read into that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna apply that. And I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. So knowledge is a really good thing, but just, yeah, like I say, taking a good inventory of, of what's available. Plan of action, capital, time, broker, PC, laptop, two screens I recommend, and knowledge. You don't need anything else, and you're away. You're a day trader. See so you next one, take care, bye-bye.